Hi, welcome to Tech Tricks Info. It's Joss here. Today, let's learn about exhaust braking. So the basics of the exhaust braking system will be explained here with the diagram. So here on the screen, you can see this is a diesel powered engine. So this is the engine, the piston you can see, the injector and the turbocharger here. So you know how normally a diesel engine works. So the exhaust braking system is employed in diesel powered vehicles to slow down the vehicle. An exhaust brake actually closes the exhaust from the turbocharger with the valve and that result in the pressure to develop in the exhaust manifold and inside the cylinder so what here happens is that we have a butterfly valve if you see uh, from this side you can see this is the exhaust then we have a butterfly valve here which can open and close it will not close completely but it closes partially so that some amount of exhaust can escape so a pressure is actually getting built up inside the system the exhaust brake comes into play when the driver releases the fuel throttle. So when he releases the fuel throttle, what happens is that the solenoid actually linked with the throttle. So when he releases it, that signal really gets into uh, the valve. This is another segment which will be explained later. What happens? This butterfly valve closes partially, blocking the exhaust. So pressure starts to build inside the exhaust manifold. So the pressure builds inside the exhaust manifold and inside the cylinder. So the pressure starts to act inside the cylinder as the exhaust is getting closed. So that actually restricts the movement of the piston. This is a drive train here. When the crankshaft stops, we can see that the flywheel stops, the input shaft here, the gearbox stops, the propeller shaft stops and associated to that the differential, the power from the propeller shaft is going towards the differential. Here also it stops. So a mechanical lock is happening and the vehicle starts to slow down because the exhaust is partially being blocked. You can see the pressure built inside the exhaust manifold and the cylinder slows down the engine or retard the speed of the engine. So this mechanical lock is occurring from the piston, connecting rod, crankshaft, flywheel, gearbox, through the propeller shaft and the axle with is going towards you can see the differential and the tires actually slows down so this creates a braking effect and this actually slows down the vehicle so this technology is actually called as exhaust braking and it is employed in diesel powered vehicles you can see that the exhaust brake is mounted typically on the outlet side of the turbocharger so this valve is the exhaust brake it is like a butterfly valve if you want to learn how a butterfly valve works there's an animation in my youtube channel please go and learn it so this valve closes partially that means it is not blocking the exhaust completely but it allows the exhaust to move but still it's blocking or limiting the flow of exhaust thereby pressure increases inside the system inside the cylinder which acts reverse that means a back pressure is happening a back pressure happens towards the piston normally when the engine works the piston is giving combustion and that power is actually rotating the vehicle or giving the crankshaft the power to rotate the flywheel and the power is being transmitted here in this case when the driver takes away from the throttle what happens is that this valve activates it closes pressure builds up inside the exhaust manifold and the cylinder it slows down the piston because of the pressure which is here with a back pressure it slows down the entire system so the vehicle slows down so that is exactly how exhaust braking is working and one of the advantage of the exhaust brake is that it avoids or reduces the chance of engine overrun so engine overrun is also explained in one of the video in our youtube channel so you can say that exhaust brake is a supplementary braking system to the service brake which can enhance the life of a service brake up to two to three times so we can summarize that the exhaust brake creates a restriction in the exhaust system which substantially increases the back pressure inside the engine cylinder and the exhaust manifold thereby retarding the speed of the engine which actually creates a mechanical lock towards the tires or the axles so that the axle slows down the tires slows down so the vehicle slows down exhaust braking creates a negative torque that means when the engine works, it creates a positive torque which helps the engine to move, engine to run. The crankshaft rotates, flywheel rotates and the drive goes in. Here when the exhaust gets closed, a back pressure creates and a negative torque is happening which retards the engine. Thereby because of the mechanical lock, the tires slow down. So that is exactly how exhaust brakes work.
We believe that you got an idea about how exhaust brake works. We will be uploading more technical videos on a daily basis. Please click the subscribe button for more technical videos or visit our YouTube channel youtube.com oblique tech tricks info. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and share to motivate our team.